I'll be with you in a minute, gentlemen. Don't worry about that. I am here to investigate the murder. Hastings would probably like us to rest here, but the investigation cannot wait. Because of the bar. <laughs> what a pity. I don't have any chance to make it work. A delightful cafe. Yes, indeed. This is a well-laid table. Nothing is out of place and, above all, no creases. Where's your French accent? Oh, let's look at the mirror again. Improve your ego further. Woo! Oh! Plus three. <laughs> what is it? Let's uh, observe this fine lady. Something tells me that she's the owner of the Tinder Cat. Mm, what gave it away? <laughs> Red hair. Okay. This woman must be the owner of the ginger cat. It looks like something is bothering her. Huh. I'm gonna have to ask her. How then. can I help you? A hot chocolate and a tea for my friend, please. I'll bring it straight away. Okay. I thought we were gonna ask her questions. Oh, let's have a look while she's away. I need to know the time range during which Betty was working on her own. Wow, okay. These are the different waiting staff's bills. Which ones were written by Betty? Uh, how do I know? I mean, there is no name. We can, I can refer to the picture. No, there's no writing here. Da. Ah. Wait a minute. Okay, Betty, Betty. Okay. Uh, she seems to be writing in. Uh, Where is Betty? This is Betty. Betty worked from 11 a.m. to 7:30 p.m. Would she have been alone at any time during her service? Oh, the observe button is just for this. Betty worked from. Okay, okay. So her writing is sharp angle on the right side. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, I guess this is it. Most probably a single man, a whiskey lover, maybe the murderer. This bill may have been written by Betty. There is probably another one. No, something's not right. Betty was alone at just one of these two times. Oh. Okay, I have to get back the time. So she's working between 11 to 7.30. Betty worked from 11 a.m. Oh, wait, I... Betty worked from 11 a.m. Uh, 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 I'm not planning to use this. No, 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 no. Betty worked from ele No comments about her. Um... Betty worked from 11 a.m. to 7:30 p.m. Should have been alone. Uh... Betty worked from 11 a.m. This page won't help me. <laughs> Okay. This page won't help me. This page won't help me. Okay, okay, okay. Betty worked from 11 a.m. I didn't want to use that. Give it away. 
11. Betty worked from. No, this person is not the last one to have worked with Betty. Hey, 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 hey. No, this person. You mean her? Me. Interesting. Betty was alone between 5 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. Who did she serve? Who did she serve? Uh, so 5 to 7.30 uh, This is not her writing it seems to be Oh, writing also well. Oof. Maybe this one, who knows? Most probably a family. What this happened? bill may have been written by Betty. There is probably another one. Hmm, not that one, that's for sure. Most probably a single man. A whiskey lover. Maybe the murderer? Betty served a family and a man on his own. A whiskey drinker. Maybe the murderer. This information will help me to progress. Okay. <laughs> what? Gentlemen, what are you doing? We are searching for clues, mademoiselle. My name is Hercule Poirot. I am a detective, and this is Captain Hastings. Does Betty Barnard work here? That is correct. She should have been here a while ago. Punctuality is the first rule of politeness. I fear that Miss Barnard will not be coming today. She has just been found dead on the beach a few hundred meters from the cafe. How awful. Poor young thing. What happened? Doesn't seem very emotional. She appears to have been murdered. This is most distressing. How this will affect my business, I shudder to think. Oh. Uh, <laughs> an advert for the town. Uh. What can you tell us about Miss Barnard? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Miss Barnard was my employee. Her private life was none of my business. You okay. did know at least that she had a young man. Contemptuous. Indeed. Suspicious. This photo was found. Is this him? Yes, that's him all right. But I haven't seen him for some time. Preoccupied. Do you think there may have been some problems between them? I'm not on those sort of terms with my staff. Now, please excuse me. I Annoyed. have work to do. The customer who ordered the whiskey might provide us more information. He may have been the last one to see Betty alive. It is an interesting idea, Hastings. Maybe he is a regular guest. What do you think, mademoiselle? I don't think so. Our regular guests tend to order tea and cakes. At this time of the year, there are a lot of tourists about you never see again. That's what I thought. Time to visit Betty's home. Okay. <laughs> Can I speak to you, I Madame have nothing Marcella? to add on the subject of Miss Bur. Oh well, never mind. Miss Marion is not the sort of witness that my friend enjoys questioning. Uh, apparently so. Okay, on to the house. Oh, we have to ride a car. I thought the house is over here. 
Oh, this is the house. Okay. It's very close. Oh, yeah. How do you do, mademoiselle? My name is Hercule Poirot. I know you. You're that detective we hear all about. I do not know if that is a compliment, but I will take it as one for now. You are Betty's sister, I believe? Yes. My name is Megan. Can we come in? Please do. Please do.